I am Steph Hodge with BGG, here with Sarah Erickson from Renegade Games, and we're talking about Junk Corbett. Yay! Yay. Um, so this one comes in a fantastic cylinder box. I have to... I, have to I know, it has to be it. perfect. It does. It has to be just right. Uh, so, <laughs> so this game is by Daniel Solis, and this one is actually coming out July 11th everywhere, but friendly local game stores will get this on June 27th, so well, it's coming out really quick. And this is a really interesting pickup and deliver yeah. game. I love the different movement in it, I love the puzzliness of it. I love the color! It's so <laughs> bright! This is a gorgeous game it. on the table. <laughs> really excellent that way. Um, and so in this game it's very simple. All you're doing is taking advantage of the Newton's third law actually. So in that, that law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So that means that let's say you want to move your ship this way, well you're going to have to launch junk out the back of your ship the other way. So you'll start out with a couple of pieces of junk. We'll just take a couple of these. And we'll have a couple of these to start with. Oh, yeah, we'll put them over here. So let's say I want to go this way and my my ship would land here. That would be pretty helpful. So we're actually going to launch this piece of junk that says two on it, two in the opposite direction. So it's going to land there and my ship's going to go one, two, and land here. If I had a ship, or if I had a piece of junk, in my cargo area that said Olympus, then I could deliver it. So I'm trying to match up where I'm going yep. with what things I have. Well, they don't, so I just pick up this piece of junk and put it in my cargo area and then replace it. Yep, there we go. And that's the end of my turn. Nothing too exciting happened. I still haven't made any deliveries, but that's okay. Yeah. So on my next turn, I'm gonna now take this one, I'm gonna launch it over here in Laguin, and that's gonna move me one space in the other direction. Well now, I actually have a piece of junk in my cargo area that matches, so same name, same name. So that means I get to deliver it. I took that piece of junk, I took it to the right place, then you get so I get that point, and then at the end of the game, I'll get to score that. Alternatively, you can also throw junk to the right place. Yes. So there's two ways to get points. Yes. Either you take it there gently and nicely, like a little basket, <laughs> or you throw it out the back of your ship and hope it lands in the right place. That's what I do. <laughs> I can see that. That makes sense. So let's pretend we've moved around, we've gone around orbit a few times, so let's say we're here. Well, I actually want to go and pick up that tile. That's, that looks like a good one for me. I'm excited about it. Yeah. So I'm going to throw this tile out the back of my ship, one, two, and it's going to land in Johnson. My ship goes one, two, and since this matched up, I get to deliver that tile, and I get to pick up this tile to go into my cargo area. So I got to do all the things I wanted to do. It's very exciting. So the idea of this game is that you're really trying to maximize all of your movements, deliver as much as possible, pick up as much cargo as you can, but the fun of the game is in the puzzle. It's definitely puzzling. And it's very simple. Yes. There's not a lot to learn. Once you get it, it's really easy. Yeah. And like, you don't have to follow orbit. You can kind of go this way too if you wanted to. So you always go in a figure eight style, unless you're the blue ship, because the blue oh, has, blue awesome has power. Cool power yes. So each of the ships actually <laughs> comes with a different ship power that lets you break the rules a little bit. Yes. So you can either, like the blue ship has a, a little special power that instead of going in a figure eight pattern, like imagine you're orbiting all these planets, you'd have to normally go around or just stay in one orbit. Yep. This one, when you go to here, you can backtrack, you can kind of... <laughs> like a bounce. <laughs> yeah, use your thrusters yes. and go the other way. But That's each one cool. of these uh, ship powers is nice because it actually it's has double a sided. Yeah. And all the B sides are very interactive. So if you want to really fight with your opponents and mess with them and it's really... Totally me. Lots of table talk. <laughs> the B side is definitely for you. <laughs> so you can play the friendly game or the uh, interactive game. <laughs> okay, excellent. And you also, if you want to play with just your family, don't want anything fancy going on, you play with this side. But you can also flip these over, and there's a B side of each of the plants as well that gives you the set collection aspect. Excellent. Super simple. A lot of replay here. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And it comes in an adorable bright box, bright colors, and I didn't mention this before, but we have some 
fun little things if you look at these art very closely. Oh, you'll Easter notice eggs. Mr. Yes. Whiskers is in Mr. here. Mr. Whiskers! From Clank. He, he made it out of the Clank dungeon and he's now orbiting around Mars. Perfect. Yeah. Well, so you. that's Junk Orbit. Yeah. So I'm Steph Hodge here with Sarah Erickson from Renegade and this was Junk Orbit.